Well, guys, I got a brand new Abus E60 from Andrew in Round Hill, Virginia. He picked this up on a recent trip to Belgium, and this really is one of the most recent manufacturer. Um, we do have the keys here, but we won't be needing those. Um, I thought it'd be interesting not only to see if we can't pick this brand new one, because the new Abus has come with a whole series of new security pins, and I picked up some of those on my trip to Germany this last summer. So I'll be able to show you what those pins might look like, depending on our feedback. I'll show you all the pins that I have regardless. This is a five pinner and it is a typical, come on camera, work with me here. There we go. Typical Abus keyway. So it is paracentric. I can't work from the bottom. So feel free to use bottom of the keyway tensioning. Just don't bind it up. I'm going to use top of the keyway, I think, and then pick from that ledge on the right side going up at an angle with a fairly thin pick. I think I have something that'll work here. Let's see if we can't get this clamped up. Get it picked. All right, I did buy some Abuses with containing the new pins this last summer, so got a feel for it. Just never really had a chance to look at an, e, uh, an E60. Let me grab a pick. Let's see if we can do this. All right, that'll work. This is a Tron, not an Attila. This indeed is a Tron from Sparrows. There have been a lot of questions about that lately, about if I'd misidentified the pick, and nope, it is a Tron. Um, let's see if I can find a top of the keyway tensioner. Try a blue one. That might be too narrow. Let's try the white one. That'll work. Okay, so that is the one millimeter from the Mad Bobs. And I color coded that white. Okay, I'm going to try to pick it. A lot of floppiness in there, but I can assure you there's at least one standard pin in all Abuses. And the way I usually try to find it is I will just rake like this. And more often than not, that will help you get your fault set with almost all Abuses. And there you go. I got a very slight turn. I don't know which one it was, and it really doesn't matter because now I'm going to go and start looking for the, the, uh, Security pins. Let me zoom in a little bit. So if we get some feedback, you'll be able to tell. Now, Abus has a lot of new spool pins, like spooled key pins, serrated key pins, and then these new T-style key pins as well as drivers. So pretty cool stuff. I am hoping, there it is right there. I have pin three and it is giving some counter rotation. And I don't know if it's the key pin or the driver and it really doesn't matter. Okay, now I have lost the fault set. So again, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to rake and try to see if I can get it back. And there we go. So that tells me I probably have one of those T-pins inside of here. And I'll show you one, one of those new ones in just a minute. Now I'm going to go back and look again, and hopefully I don't hit pin 3 again. Okay, he's good. I'm getting counter rotation on pin 4. So he's probably a spool. And again, it doesn't matter if it's the driver or the key pin and again I've lost my fault set let's see if we can find that T pin again there it is got him back and again it doesn't matter where he is guys all right pin three is now down again I'm gonna give him a little extra this time and again I've lost the fault set not find that T pin Got him. Okay, now let's see what we got. Get in there. Okay, I'm on pin five and I'm getting counter rotation. So he's a spool. I think I got him, but I've lost the fault set again. And again, we get T pin. Back got got it back. Back on pin four. Definitely a spool. I'm gonna rake that T pin. Got him back. Okay, who's not in place here? So it looks like I have both spool, uh, key pin, and driver on pin three. This is that spool again. And again, I got a nice click. And again, that T pin. I suspect he's right up in the front here somewhere. There he is. So pin one is probably a T pin. And the rest of them are spools and also probably T-pins. Let me show you what some of these might look like. I don't want to ruin uh, Andrew's brand new E60. I'll just show you what some of the pins look like, though. I've already gone through. I pulled out one of each from the kit. First of all, their new 
See if I can, I'm going to zoom this out so our focus will work just a little bit better. This is what some of their new key pins look like that come in their standard lock. So awesome quality. These are coated with some kind of slick graphite like material. Um, and then the other key pin looks like this one. I don't think any of these were inside of this particular lock, but this is what their new serrated key pins look like. Again, with that graphite coating, very cool. I don't know if that's a preservative or a lubricant. All right, they have a some of their T-pins look like this guy. We've seen these before, and a lot of handmade ones, but now they're being made commercially by Abus and randomly thrown into their locks. I believe we were looking at one of these on pin number one or pin number two of this guy because we had to keep raking him back. And the last one that I have, again, it's a spool, but they're starting to use combinations of technology and this guy is a spool but on the top of him I think if the camera will cooperate you can see they've put some kind of T element in there and they would be installed with that pointing down towards the key to give you that fault set and then you still got to fight through the uh, the spool part so very cool new pins from Abus and I believe everything except the serrated one is probably in Andrew's brand new E60. And this is a standard lock. This is an everyday run of the mill. This is uh, the equivalent of a quick set in Europe in terms of commonality, but certainly not in terms of security. This is only like a thousand times better than quick set. Anyway, guys, there you go. The E60 and some of Abus's new security pins. Andrew, thank you, sir, for the brand new lock. I will return it to you. Everybody else, stay safe. Stay legal. Oh, yeah. We want to take a look at the lock, or at the key to this lock. So let's cut that off of there. Oh, man. I would have been nervous if I'd seen that beforehand. Let's see if that works. And I have no doubt that it does. Like I said, it's brand new. Get back, turn rack. Come on. What did I do? Did I cut off the wrong one? I think I might have. These were mismarked. I have another. This was marked E60, and this is the E60 lock. But I believe what happened was Andrew also sent me an E50, which was what I was going to get to in a little while. I think he mismarked the keys. Let's cut this guy off too. Maybe. Come out of there. Let's make sure I didn't screw this up. There we go. Yeah, he mismarked the keys. There is the bidding for this guy. A little more <laughs> realistic for that big job. And, of course, it works beautifully. Thanks, guys.